Hey everyone, I'm Dalton and welcome to Arid. Now, I think I've got all of my recording and my audio issues fixed. Uh, instead of, you know, I, I copied scenes. It's complicated. Anyways, um, I had done some stupid things last time, as y'all could see in the astronaut video, and uh, yeah, it didn't go too well. However, I think we've got everything figured out. Uh, editing can probably be a bit more complex. I don't know if that means I'm going to do it, but I now have the freedom to do it. Uh, once again, not back to recording anything crazy like crazy, but here we are in Arid, which is a, from what I can tell, a survival game? Uh, Explorer suggested. Hmm. We'll go with Explorer. We'll go with the recommended. Uh, start a new game? Yes, please. So polite. But uh, I love survival games. I really do. I love sandbox explorer survival games. 15th of May, 1931. 8,000 feet over Bubba, the Atacama Tiger. Desert. Do you read me? Thank off the time to bump gum, Tiger. Over. So there's an actual storyline. I'm seeing storm clouds up ahead. Ooh. Nothing like the weather report said. I'm thinking we can go west, hug the shore, dodge the Atacama. Over. So there's some goo. We fly around it. Company said we go east, and that's it. Over. We're going east. I'm telling you, Bubba, there's some real bad juju going on here. I. Christ! What is that? Damn, dust cloud came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of left field, uh, really. Uh, Tiger, you gotta I think we're going down. I tried to tell you. Ah. Uh. that I never liked his cargo shorts. Tell him. It's sad, but it's true, and somebody's got to tell him before I die. Anywho, into Arid, I guess. Uh, I didn't realize there was going to be an actual storyline to it, which I'm happy about. I, I'm not going to complain about an actual storyline. Don't black out. Maybe it'll be a series. Who knows? my jam <laughs> objective the aftermath you are hurt look for a bandage from the plane supplies to replenish your health hint the default key for interacting is e oof 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 this uh oof 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 oh that's much better oh that is i like fast turning let me see maybe turn my own dpi down a little bit yeah there we go that's perfect as far as crash landings go that was the textbook. Textbook. But where the hell am I? The character has three main parameters to balance through the use of food, water, and other items. Well-being, heart, represents your health and mental condition. If it reaches zero, the character will die. If the character is well-fed, the well-being will increase over time. If your nourishment or your hydration uh, reach zero, well-being will decrease over time. Hint, be aware of what you eat and drink. There's a chance it could poison you. Interesting. Alright, so let's open this sack. Alright. There's a ooh, the bandage here, okay. Um uh, transfer. God. Okay. I got busted up real good. The crate should have some first aid supplies. Alright, so to use is F. Boom, I used my bandage. Alright. Investigate footprints. Footprint Ooh, footprints. Are Hello. Those footprints? They look like it. Or uh, is it bloody footprints? What's with the toes? The toes are a little weird. Is there a big feats here? I'd like, I'd like to, I'd like to see a big feats. The, the bit, the Looks desert's like I big need feet. To make my own way out. I should get my tools. Probably end up on the other side of the plane. Canned coffee. Canned bell peppers. Canned green beans. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. And an oil lantern. I got some oil. Alrighty. Collect some Arampo fruit. Okay, whatever that means. Whatever it means, I got it. Can I collect more? And that's all there is to collect. I'll need a torch. Use torch to light up the environment in night and caves. Use torch will consume oil over time. It will interface will show the amount of oil left. Torch runs out. You can use oil in the inventory to refill it. You can collect more oil from oil beds. Broken lanterns. Okay. Uh uh, where is Torch? 
Oh, T. Okay. Whoever's in there. Oh yeah. I come in peace. I want this rock. I need this rock. Whew. It's a little dark in here. Hello? Oh, water. water. Small I'm gonna need Fill up the can canteen. Use that. Let's get my water filled up and then let's collect some more clean water. Canteen is full again, baby. Look at me being a survivalist. Uh, disassemble with hand. I got clay. Hey, what's up? Ooh. Uh, Hello. Ominous. Definitely looks ominous. Uh, what you got, mummified body? Some bones? Don't mind if I do. Give me them bones, boy. Give me them bones. What you got in this note? Robert, Roberto, Martin, Julio. I don't even know their surname. I don't know their surnames. I must remember them. People in Papa Papa Huap. Papa Wapa must know. Papa Wapa. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce you things. Mom's Spanish lessons were a waste of time. Right, Dad? Obviously they were, because I don't know what the hell I said. <laughs> Ooh, chuno. Not much taste, but will do. Okay, it will do, I suppose. I got some seeds. Hello, other mummified body. You got more bones? Hell yeah, give me them bones. Can I take whatever in the hell it is you're holding? No? Okay. Sticks. I got sticks, yo! I can't nobody fight against me when I got sticks, my diggity dogs. That's just a rock. That's just a rock. Barely been here an hour and already taken from the dead. Sorry, fellas. Yeah, sorry, y'all. I hate to I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I need your bones. The sandstorm seems to have turned away. I can hear it still howling in the distance. Maybe you got tired of going after me. Evil, evil thing. You were right, Bruno. It does reek of evil. But we were too overwhelmed by our own sins to even sense it. It's going out now. Time for my repentance. I don't know, maybe... Maybe you're just going a little crazy because the sand and the heat and all that good stuff. Excuse me, rocks! It fucking scares me. Alright, let's put this bad boy away. Ooh, that's that's a bad plane crash. Was that me? Was that me in that crash? That bad. That, that'd be bad. Ooh. Hello. What is this smiley right. face at the bottom that I'm happy? Yeah, that would be a good idea, madame. I got a temperature gauge. Okay. I wouldn't even pay attention to that. Some some cloth and some splint bandage. Don't mind if I do. I just need to take all the cargo. Who cares about carry weight? <laughs> Nobody needs carry weight. Let's see, can we go inside of the plane through up top? There's another bag! We found another bag, yo. It looks like I might get stuck if I go that direction, though. So let's not go that way quite yet. Take all that. Wood plank, unrefined wood, clay. Oh, there's lots of good stuff here. Lots of good stuff. Don't mind if I do. A pickaxe. Okay. Canteen is full. Okay, okay. My inventory looks like it's getting pretty full. 16.27 out of 30. Ooh, shovel. We stay in a good shovel. Alcohol! Yeah, baby. Achievement unlocked. High quality. Okay, good, good. Morales. I, Morales? I don't know. That looks like it might be Spanish. I unfortunately know next to no Spanish. I am an uneducated American. What do you, what do you expect from me, huh? What do you want from me? Probably more than I'm given, but, you know. We can't all get what we want in this world. Uh, that looks like that's everything around this part, so I guess I go ooh, Dirt pile dig that out with a shovel, baby What I, what did I get out of it? I got clay peat and rocks, okay Rocks we love a good rock my friend It was almost hard to notice that Ford leading innovation since Innovation was a thing don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just spouting corporate BS right now. I know I can get up there. I see the boxes. I see the boxes. You can't lie to me. Okay? I, you can't lie to- Why are you lying to me? I can get up there. I will find my way up there. Hey! Objectives updated. Gonna need a pickaxe. Find a tool to break open the cave entrance. Later. I'm guessing right here. I'm guessing this rock. I gotta- Yeah. 
Okay, so we'll get past that boulder in just a second. Where's my stamina out? Where's my stamina? Oh, it's underneath the health. I didn't notice that. All right, oil barrel. Completely depleted it. What else? Okay, so let's see about all this stuff down here. Let's not hurt ourselves, but let's get down here anyways. That sack's empty. Wait a minute, is this where I started? Oh, crap, I went in a circle. Oh, no. <laughs> that kind of makes sense, but... Here we are. Okay, I, I gotta go back. Ooh, more air. Iron, iron pool. I like iron pool. All right, so we gotta go back around because I'm kind of a I'm kind of a dingleberry, um, and I don't think I can skyrim my way up anywhere. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go back around real quick, and we're gonna find our way through that cave. Maybe I did. I did miss boxes. Why do the rocks look like they're sewed together? You know what? Probably better I don't question everything in this world. Probably a little bit better of an idea. All right, well, we got a bolt. We, we, we got a uh, pickaxe. Bang! Give me that two rock for that. Woo! Nice! Nice! Totally fucking wicked. That shit got dark quick. My god. What? How did one of my sacks end up in here? That's what I want to know. What's my weight at? I'm almost over encumbered. Yay! Just me and every Sky every Skyrim playthrough I've ever done, just over encumbered immediately. I probably shouldn't be taking all these rocks. I probably don't need them. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Seeds? Sure, they don't weigh much. What I'll take it. Here? Well, it looks like somebody got mummified. Oh, uh, what you got in this book? You pulled me from the jaws of death, but I never found out your name. You deserved better. I'm sorry. What happened to them? That's that's a good question. What the hell happened to them? All right, all right, I think we're good on rocks, but thank you. Ah, that's that. Why a picture of the sun? The arid climate, the sun and intense sun intensity and high temperature of the Atacama Desert are the main th threats for your survival. You can track sun exposure and temperature on your UI down here in the right. Uh, sun exposure will increase while exposed to the sun and decrease in the shade. It can cause a sunburn, which reduces your well-being over time, and until healed with aloe vera, you can also use clay to increase resistance to sun exposure. High temperature can cause heat cramps and heat exhaustion, reducing your hydration and stamina. By drinking and being in the shade, you can reduce the risk of overheating, really? just like real life. Something here I could use. Ooh, some city ruins. Okay. Okay, I Look see what you. we're doing. <gasps> the desert didn't cut you any slack either, huh? Oh. The poor baby. Thanks for the food, though. Oh, achievement, poor boy. Oh, my boy. What did they do to my boy? Ah. I'm sad now. Disassemble this here stool. I guess not. It won't let me. Do I not have the inventory space or something? I guess I don't have the inventory space. Bleh, bleh, bleh. bleh. It's getting kind of dark, yo. What the hell is down there? It's a bridge. A water filter. Looks like someone left in a hurry. Or got chased out. Perhaps. Perhaps oh, dirty water, you. Trap. Should be able to put it back together. Plant fiber. Oh, okay. I got plant fiber. I can repair that. Hey! Let's set that trap. Catch yourself another little poor boy, eh? Refugees are useful for cooking, crafting, and sleeping. Looks like okay. someone was staying here recently. <gasps> I hope they don't mind me squatting. <gasps> <gasps> Hi! How are you? <gasps> Do I get to pat? <gasps> look oh, at the baby! You adorable. Oh, look at the baby! Oh, I be love. I love the baby. <gasps> Precious. Refugee. Refugee. Re refu refuges. Refuges. I, I f <laughs> are hidden throughout the entire map. They offer shelter from the harsh weather and provide bed. Leisure to recover energy in exchange for a portion of the character stats. Campfire, once fuel is added, is used for cooking ingredients found in the Atacama Desert. Crafting bench gives you access to creating medicines and tools and can be also used to butcher animals. Ugh. Trap has a chance to capture animals. Great source of food and leather. Hint, any container can be used as storage space. Be aware that some refugee structures may require to be repaired. 
Well, I mean, this one's Table, it's guns. Fireplace. Is that a workbench? Looks like they had the whole nine yards. Uh, how do I refuel my torch again? Ah, there we go. Clean water, hell yeah, dudes. Small vase, small vases. Get a crafting table. Deconstruct the visacha for its parts of the crafting table. Okay, so I got plenty of storage space here, which is good. All right, let's break this big bad bad boy down. Uncooked mortar. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm going to have to craft some of these things. So I need plant fiber to craft most of this. Is pretty much what I'm being told right now. Yeah, okay. What is it that I've got so much of that's taking up so much weight? Looks like a lot of the food. The oil definitely seems to be taking up some space. Come over into here and put all of our food in here. And we're down to 11.7 pounds. Pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. Uh, find repairables. Oh, okay. So I, I probably shouldn't have stored all my stuff straight away then. Alrighty. I need two more rocks. Two more rocks. I was wrong on the number of rocks. Go ahead and repair this. Alright, we got a fireplace now, baby. Hell yeah. I wish we could repair our roof, but... Oh, well. We got... Pl Ooh, a chest! A makeshift hammer. Good for breaking, but not much else. I mean, me too. I real good breaking. Me smash, me like Hulk, me smack thing like hammer. Good breaking. Anywho... Enough of that. Oh, hi, mummified body. Book. For 40 days, I bathed in the dust until my Christian baptism wore off of me. For a fortnight, I smoked the tobacco in Ayusha. Lape came to me when I was deep in a trance, called me El Fumador, my shaman's name. He has given me sight beyond sight, senses above those in the mortal realm. I see the supas, 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 the yamakotas moving below. I call to you, Pachamak, Inti Viracucha. Accept my sacrifice of the vis Viscacha. Give me the strength to banish them. I just want to disclose, because you've already seen it. I don't know how to pronounce things, and I'll continue to pronounce them wrong, because I am an idiot. Anywho, which, what you got, mummified corpse? Some more bones? Give me them bones, boy. Give me them bones. Hell yeah. I got myself a pet. You can't bring me down. You can't bring me down? All right. So we have now got ourselves a sharp rock knife, will allow, which will allow me to butcher our little buddy here. Unfortunate. So I got leather, raw meat, and animal fat. Uh, I can go ahead and make leather strips. I can also make a cooking stick. Which might be useful in some way. Glue. When you ain't got the tools or the nails or the skills, you got glue. <laughs> Should be useful for better ropes. For reals. Alright, so we can make a bone knife with some glue. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Let's go ahead and make some glue. Uh, one more glue. Uh, is that going to leave me enough leather strips? It is. That's all of our animal fat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab another bone. Take him to the bone zone. Just one. Just one. I keep pressing E instead of T. I'll get used to it, I'm sure. Okay, and we can make a bone knife. So now we have two different types of knives. We got our sharp rock knife, the caveman's first. Best friend. Not very reliable, but a good place to start, anyways. Hewn from bone. Plenty sharp, but brittle. So I've got myself two different kinds of little survival knives over here. Uh, so we need to cook this. Uh, we need fuel, don't we? We need fuel. Uh, where is our uh, sticky sticks? I need more sticks. Uh, I know we got a plank over here. Take that. Take a wood plank. I'm gonna go ahead and dismantle this chair here. Unfortunately, it won't let me dismantle for some reason. 
I guess I don't have enough energy, maybe? I don't know. Do you got any wood in here? I don't. No wood in here. Unfortunate, my dude. Well, I'm gonna need just a little bit more wood from it. Did I catch something? Harvest trap. We'll need to set trap. You know, we'll worry about that later. Uh, for right now, what I need to find... I can't see shit. Uh, for right now, I need to find a little bit more wood. Which I'm sure there's some available to me somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I never do. I, 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 I never do. Wait, I don't want to repair that. I didn't mean to give that all my... Ah! I have the axe. Like, I have... Oh, I don't have an axe. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I haven't had an axe this whole time. I'm just a dum-dum. Got clay and insects. Don't know what that does for me, but I got it. Maybe one plank will be enough. It's almost daytime. We want to get this food cooked and eaten. I am starving. Oh my god, that's fucking gorgeous. There's another like shelter looking place down there. Oh, this game is gorgeous. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I love it. Hey, there's one. Now we add the other one. Uh, we'll go ahead and add this. As soon as this finished cooking, we're going to take our, take our stuff out of there. Alright, you know what? Fine. Just eat up the rest of my leaves. I don't care. I don't care. It's fine. Hey, and now we got some food. Hey! Find a way to descend the mountain. Well, while this is a, a beautiful descent, let's go over here and pet our little buddy again. Hey, little buddy. Hey, you're so precious. <gasps> Oh my god, it's so fucking Aww. precious! Aren't you adorable? Oh. Ooh, canned peaches. Well, we'll come back to you. That's our little buddy's food. We can't take that. I got another thing. Hell yeah, I got another little crit crit. The little crit a crit crit. Hell yeah. Anyways, I think we're gonna leave it off with this beautiful, beautiful fucking view here. Absolutely picturesque. Anyways, thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I really, really do truly appreciate it. This game seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. I really enjoy survival games, and I don't put enough time into them. And part of the reason I don't tend to make videos on them is they take so long to record uh, to, to, to get anywhere on it, I take my time in survival games, so I could sit here and play it for five hours, and that doesn't equate into good recording time, so it takes longer to edit those down, so, uh, and I don't like to cut things out, I'm very big on keeping a lot of things in, it's a problem that I'm working through, but I want to get into recording more survival games and games of the like, so I hope y'all enjoyed this, and thank you so much for watching, this has been Arid, I am Dalton, and until next time, pieces.